Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokey Aim here with the next part of my Bisharp Suspect Test run. I want to give a big shout to Adam for this team, really offensive team. It has some of my favorite stuff to ladder with in the UU ladder. Spikes plus Mega Sharpedo, and then I got a bunch of abusers like Bisharp and of course the Blade. Now, as we are a couple days in now, almost a week I believe, into the uh, Bisharp Suspect Test ladder, uh, I want to know what your thoughts are. I'm honestly... I'm still leading towards no ban when it comes to Bisharp. I can't really... It's good. There's no denying that. But I haven't seen it being overpowered. I haven't felt overpowered by it. And obviously, I don't want to go off theory mining versus I want to go off what I'm actually facing on the ladder because this will, quote unquote, be the metagame. Um, again, as I said last time, I do agree that maybe it was a little bit too early. Maybe we should have let Zero Aura settle in a little bit and see how the metagame would have shifted if Chestnut had been as good as it is right now. I think it would have, but... Uh, and things like that. Just see how it would have shifted a little bit before testing uh, Bisharp in. Because right now we're kind of like testing Bisharp plus Zero Aura, I feel. Uh, Zero Aura is obviously uh, unanimously voted no ban. But to not allow a metagame to adjust and then to let in Bisharp. Something that we're actually thinking about uh, testing or banning itself. Uh, kind of just, I don't know, they, they work against each other in my opinion. Um, but... I feel like Bisharp will not be banned, um, and we'll see, I guess, when the votes actually come through. Uh, I'm also trying to get back into the swing of things for uploading two, three, four times a day again. Uh, so hopefully I that will work out. Uh, just a few things going on, and just honestly a lot going on uh, within the next coming months. But don't worry, come let's go. I have like 10 million Wi-Fi battles a day and whatnot. Uh, my uh, my gotta catch them all play through which I'll be streaming then uh, the editing and uploading here and I'll make sure that there's no like uh, alerts like there's no sound like alerts like uh, so you guys don't hear that ski 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 like it's the Winter Olympics whenever I get a, a sub or whatever so that way it's actually semi enjoyable and I'll also put the chat there that way you guys can see that too uh, so you understand what the hell I'm referring to if I say something in the chat but yeah like I said Trying to get back into the swing of things. It was going to launch the Road to Rank 1 today. Probably going to launch it tomorrow. Uh, mainly because I want to launch it at 2 p.m. And I forgot that we had the MBL scheduled for today at 2 p.m. But I got a little fun video going up at 6. It's uh, Well, Gator and I basically played on the Nintendo Switch. Wow, I cannot find a battle save in my life. Gator and I played on the uh, Nintendo Switch. And it was super fun. Um... So we play like some of the NES games that they offer, and I'm, I'm I'll upload one of them. It was it was it was, it was fun. Uh, really, 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 really like Como in this game. It's incredible, actually. Uh, Tom Como really gives him the work. Uh, we're gonna lead off with our Frostlass though, as we can just start spiking up. As far as winning goes, I think Sharpedo can also do it. Though I don't have Psychic Fang, so I'm kind of iffy about that. Huh? I know Earthquakes for Zero Aura, but no Psychic Fang, so I'm not gonna be able to touch. I don't know how I feel about that. Like, I obviously have Ice Fang for these guys, but ah, that's fine. Either way. Let's see how this goes. Um, Again, not a big fan of no Psychic Fangs, but we'll we'll do our best here. We'll do our best for sure. This guy is taking a minute too. So Frostlass just leads up really well versus everything on his team uh, as he opts to lead off with the, uh, the bro. And I think this just gives me an opportunity to get up as many spikes as possible. As he scalds me. Uh, I'm actually going to Will-O-Wisp here too because I want to uh, weaken what this slower can do. Also looking like I don't die to Scald Burn. Uh, and then we'll just get up a spike. He might switch out fearing the Destiny Bond. I don't think you'd give me Slowbro immediately here. I feel like that's a poor play. Another one that actually can win this game is the Blade. I think very easily actually. So dependent on some things. Uh, so we'll just get up a spike here as he goes for another Scald. Scald is disabled. Not bad, not bad, not bad. So there's a few plays I can make right here. Uh, I think that Bisharp makes a lot of sense. I'm gonna go Bisharp, especially because he can't scald me anymore. And I'm actually gonna double out into Como because Como can taunt both the two Bisharp switchins or the three Bisharp switchins. One being his own Como, uh, Gligar, and of course the Aggron. I feel like Aggron or Gligar are more than likely to come out. Also, SD Bisharp's really nice in this too. So as he does go out to Como, and he's leftovers Como. So I'm thinking. I'm about to kick up a KO right here as he goes out into Slowbro. This is a max special attack hit. Ideally, I knock out Slowbro so I don't have to deal with Skull Burns and whatnot. Just barely miss out on the KO. Just barely. We'll go for Stealth Rock here, though. Um, obviously, Toxic is annoying, but... I do have Healing Wish, if I'm not mistaken. I do. Nice. I do have Healing Wish, and he doesn't come in on this thing's attack anyway. So I'll just throw off some 
clangorous scales right here. As he does give me slow bro, awesome. So I don't have to worry about skull burn. If Glagar wants to come out, I will taunt it. I will taunt you. Bussy can obviously get close combat if he wants to go that. Yeah, we're gonna taunt you to prevent any defog. As he goes for earthquake. As he goes Blissey, nice. And we'll healing wish my coma right now as he goes right back on to Gligar. So such a great position for me because we have weakened uh, Gligar, we've weakened um, Blissey is essentially gone. And we'll just taunt right here. So he can't defog. Uh, this Clanger Scales is going to hurt. But it's actually going to hurt. Blissey's in range of... Uh, first off, if he gives me this, this is great. Um, and I'll be able to 2 KO Gligar prior. And essentially preventing Defog, which is what I'm going for here. And of course, I do have the close combat to deal with both Blissey and uh, do a little bit of damage to Aggron too. So Latias is going to come out. It's a little bit interesting here because I can obviously go directly into Bisharp, which I feel like I will. Throws off an Ice Beam. I wonder if you have HP fighting. I'm gonna knock. I think knock is a good play too because if he goes Como, getting rid of its leftovers means that uh, look at Sharpedo and look at his team. Yeah, so I, I think that's the, the stall around best play. Just getting rid of uh, Como's leftovers, especially because it looks like it's a bulky Como. Gives me Blissey, which makes a lot of sense considering I have like 10 million physical attackers left. Nice. Como is gonna come out. I'm gonna knock again. Yeah, I figured it would be a bulky Como, uh, especially on his build. Earthquake does not, or does take me out. Huh, soundproof? I don't think you're soundproof. I shouldn't risk it though. So I should just go for close combat here. But I really feel like the blade just wins. So I'm actually gonna go for close combat because it's the guaranteed damage as opposed to going for my uh, clangorous scales. Um, like I said, it's the guaranteed damage that I need on Como to knock it out with Sharpedo. Big ol' shark comes through. Does Earthquake knock you out? I'm actually scared. Because that looks like max defense Como. The way it took 29% from close combat. We're, like, I'm, I'm actually, I, I don't want to go for an inaccurate move. If I don't have to, you know? Pedo. Oh, you cleaner. Uh, this is not the calc I should be doing. This is actually not the calc at all. So I, I'm gonna put that for the custom set, and then I'll put Como. That that has to be max defense. I did. Yo, I, I literally did 29. Impish. Yeah, that's max defense Como. Which means that I don't think my Sharpedo is killing uh, prior to it. Ice Fang does KO. What about Earthquake? Earthquake doing 18? 18 minimum. Okay, we can go for Earthquake here. Like I said, 18 minimum is uh, is good for me. Very good, very good. Uh, we could just protect on Lottie. I don't think he's actually running a Z-move. Uh, but I'm also pretty sure it's Scarf. As well, and I think the blade should be able to win uh, uh, unless my opponent gets super lucky with like burns or crits from Agron and whatnot. Because Latias is in range of plus two, so I go for protect here. If he's giggable havoc, he's giggable havoc. Like, yeah, he is crap. Does that kill through? It didn't. Okay, cool. Good. Uh, I think the only Z move that actually kills Sharpedo through protect would be Bloom Doom from Celebi. So this just means. Mega Evolve, go for a nice crunch, knock out Lottie, and then Agron. Yo, Como put in stupid work this game. Like, this is the work I expected Como to put in this game. Well, that's what we said at Team Preview. Like, it would just destroy. It would actually just destroy my opponent. So, crunch does more. Okay, cool. Good to know. Why would you stay in regular form? Okay, you got the defense. What was the point of staying in regular Why'd you stay in regular form and not Mega Evolve? Ah. GG. Thank you. Oh, that dude had almost 1,700 points, but like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, Como did, even if he didn't misclick, I don't think it mattered. It literally didn't matter unless he got uh, an insane amount of luck. So, nice. Uh, love Como's ability to check. 
you in this game. I'm very, just gonna ignore spectators. I'm very, very weak to, uh, well, he's very weak to the blade, but I'm also pretty weak to left key. I don't like left key a lot in this. We're gonna lead Frost last though, because again, being able to will wisp anything on his team is incredible. Bishop is nasty too, but so is his. Obviously, I have Como as a check, and he has Lucario as his soft check, so. This game is going to be annoying because Klefki is just going to go for Thunder Wave versus everything. Luckily, again, Sharpedo has Earthquake, so that should be the difference between, I think, winning and losing this game. Uh, I feel like spiking up on him is going to be nice. I'm also going to taunt that Frost Slash. I'll let him uh, Thunder Wave me if he goes for it, uh, but I'm going to, I mean, taunt his Klefki. Um, that's why we have Earthquake. Earthquake is better for Bisharp. Zero Aura and Clefki, obviously. It makes a lot of sense. Okay. So, again, uh, it's going to be really nice having Earthquake in this matchup. But I think it's going to be who who spikes m who more. And he goes for that, which is fine, because I'm going to be able to get up a spike here. Uh, Player off will not knock me out. He only goes for Toxic, which means he doesn't Thunder Wave me, which is incredible. And I, I can't taunt Mammal Swine if it is a Focus Ash variant, but I can burn it. Where is it down for my Sharpedo? Uh, nothing on his team really appreciates a burn either. Even Lottie, like, I'm wearing it down for the blade, so. Nice, we land. As he clicks Stealth Rock. And I'm able to disable him. I'm gonna tell him, just because this is his rocker, and if he doesn't have Oblivious, then he can't go for Raya. Yeah. Nice. So I go down there, unfortunately. However, Icicle Crash would be annoying. And should I like this to get weakened for Bishop? He's burnt. I'm, I'm gonna get on my rocks here. Yeah, because you're switching anyway. So I'm gonna get on my rocks. Pressure Lottie. Pressure this. Uh, as keys come out. And I'm going hard Bisharp. And I'm gonna just start clicking buttons. Because this is... I think I honestly just click Iron Head versus his team. Como, as long as it's healthy, does work. He can't Thunder Wave me. Player off is gonna do crap. I hope he gets the attack drop too. That way I get the attack raise. He can't Thunder Wave me. Iron Head is such a good move versus you. Yeah, go ahead and give me Mammal Swine. Uh, so no rocks for my opponent. Awesome. No rocks at all for you. I got spikes up for pressuring Sharpedo. He obviously has that Lucario, but I'm going to go Lottie on Lucario. Going route to Lottie. He goes for CC or SD. Should be okay. Because um, Thunderbolt should put him in range of Shadow Sneak from the Blade. Uh, as far as doubling goes to, yeah, I like, a I like Thunderbolt a lot versus his team. And again, uh, Earthquake KO is Bisharp after some spikes, I think. Um, big O Sharpedo, I can keep Como healthy for that. He might double himself too, actually, into, uh, into Bisharp, I feel. The fact that he hasn't spiked yet is incredible. There's some nasty plot. I'll Thunderbolt here, as I couldn't really afford to Psychic as he does have Bisharp. And one more time, we go right back out on a Bisharp here. So, Lucario is good. I think plus two will knock you out, Lucario with the blade. We know he's nasty plot now, too, as he goes out to Lottie. I'm gonna knock here. Actually, Sucker Punch is just better all around. Uh, Sucker Punch is all around better. A uh, little bit threatening. This is his Thunderbolt resist as well. It's a lot better. If he defogs when he has spikes and rocks, that's... I know that's a poor team choice, but... Or, uh, but I'm also feeling he might just have HP fire. Or Z. Z makes a lot of... Oh, no. Z is on Lucario. Yeah, so I'm sucker punching for sure. I'm also thinking he might not switch in on a knockoff on anything because nothing... Uh, exactly. Nothing really, really, really wants to take a knockoff. So just being able to get rid of Lottie there is incredible. Um... Lucario being weakened is sick. Yeah, I need it's an L from him. I, I, I figure, because Como is way too healthy. Como always checks Bisharp. Um, I literally bring out Bisharp every single time on Klefki as he's forced to go for player off because he obviously can't attack me with his... Uh, good game, dude. He obviously can't attack me with his um, Dark type attack. Uh, excuse me, Prankster type attack because I'm a Dark type. Uh, I still have a full HP Sharpedo and literally everything is in range. Klefki dies to Earthquake, Bisharp dies to Earthquake, Lucario dies to Earthquake, though it does have backing away, which is something I have to deal with. And Sharpedo, as long as I keep either, uh, as long as I keep the blade at full HP, which I'm pretty sure I will be able to, and as long as he doesn't get two speed boosts, he, he needs a lot. Like, he needs to weaken Sharpedo, he needs multiple speed boosts. So, at this point, I don't think he can win. So, let me, I'm, I'm, I'm good with his forfeit right there, because I understand it. 
And Bisharp's play was really nice in that game, too. Abusing Klefki. This is why I don't like Klefki as a spiker right now. I feel like if you're going to use a spiker right now, you use Frostlass for its ability to actually Will-O-Wisp and get up spikes because it's a speed tier, or you use Chestnut because it's a spiker that doesn't allow Bisharp free. In fact, it's one of the best Bisharp answers in the tier right now. Unless you're running like SD Corkscrew Crash Bisharp, which I don't even think is that good. I think Black Hole Eclipse is a lot better. Um, of course, keys aren't bad on a team like this. I feel like I use this team, but they're not bad on a team like this where you have no switch-ins to uh, Lottie. So, yeah. Either way. Big old Frost last one more time. He's Mammo. This is Metronome, if I'm not mistaken. So we're going to Willow. No, this is not the Metronome variant. What does it matter? We Willow. Taunt you so you can't get up your rocks. He doesn't really have an offensive switch and that really cares about this mod anyway. So uh, I could have been Sash Mammo, but I don't... I like to taunt Mammo even though they have access to Oblivious. <laughs> and luckily it works out for me, as he does try and go for rocks. Nice. So we can get up our spikes right here. Ooh, spikes are so nasty in this game, because look at Sharpedo and look at his team. Like, he actually just flat out loses to Earthquake Sharpedo. Adam, that was a... You know what? I understand that build now as I'm playing. Really smart. I very much like that. I very, very, very much like that. So very, very smart on your part, for sure. Um, and Mammoth Swan being weakened, once again, helping out Shark. So cool, really, really, really cool for me. Uh, brings in Zero Aura. Do I want to try and get more spikes up? I think that's greedy of me. I'm gonna sack this. Yeah, I'm gonna sack this and get up my rocks on my co uh, my Como. Again, pressuring everything, and I think it's almost set to game. But I always go Bishop on this month. I always click Iron Head too. I don't SD. There's no point. Um, there's only one Pokemon that Iron Head and Sucker Punch doesn't knock out on his team, and that's actually just the the Bisharp. And people seem to be loving to go hard Mammal Swine on this thing. So once again, we prevent rocks. Zero Aura comes out. I don't think you take this from 66%, dude. And I don't, I feel like Life Orb doesn't run bulk up either. Yeah, this is a 64 min. Like this, the, the odds are ever in my favor. There's some Hunger Games out here, bro. Like I'm, I'm, I'm good. So we get rid of Zero Aura, which is something that forced a lot of switches. Uh, obviously got to worry about the Bisharp, but I do have Como. Do have Como, which I will go hard into right here just to click close combat. Bisharp's still useful in sucker punching the Sharpedo for Chip. As he goes for knock right there, nice. Free close combat as he goes Lottie. Okay. I can respect it. I'm gonna allow him to knock me out. Well, I tried to allow him to knock me out here. I should've went for my Z move actually, but okay, that KOs through combine, cool. I was gonna allow him to knock me out because I felt like if he went for Draco, I'd just go Sharpedo and uh, I just, I win. That's the, that was my thought process there. Klefki already dies to Earthquake. Uh, Bisharp dies to Earthquake. And the, his Sharpedo can't have enough. First off, I'm out of range of all the Sharpedo's attacks. So that was like my thought process right there. I hope it made sense. Um, because basically if he didn't kill me. Uh, whereas his Bisharp would have been a little bit annoying. Because he's Life Orb, it was already killing itself anyway. Maybe I should like not assume what the Sharpedo role on Earthquake is versus Klefki. And actually calc it. Because Klefki runs Spadef. Yeah, it was in range. Uh, it was at 99%. It takes Spike plus Stealth Rock. Player off don't even doesn't even kill. That's crazy. That is insane. I, I love how Mega Sharpedo barely gets a defense raise. Well, it, it actually gets a decent defense raise, but like. Yeah, 40. Like 40 to 70 is a huge difference, actually. Yo, ignore me. Ooh. So this will be a little bit tougher. First off, I love his team. Uh, it brings me back memories of DPP with the uh, Hippowdon uh, Spiritomb stall. So, and all, also all of his members are DPP. I'm gonna ask him. I gotta ask. I love the team vibe. Absolutely love it. Oh, this is going to be a tough one, too, because uh, we have a kids this time. Anyway, Frostlass is here. I wonder if he's going to talk to me. Maybe he doesn't want to. I, <laughs> that's okay if you don't want to talk. Hopefully, you're typing to me and, and not just ignoring me. Oh, okay. I see how it is. Haha. <sighs> -ha! We're one of them. All right. Uh, 
This is a wing con, but I can healing wish it. I wonder if he double two. So, it being Scarf Togekiss is, you know, scary in the sense that this can happen to my entire team, but better for me because it's not bulky. Oh, so we making doubles. Are you going to pursue me for 24? Gen 2 mons only. Gen 2 mons only? What? Gen, 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 gen 4? <laughs> gen, gen 2? You mean Gen 4? Like, this is... What do you mean Gen 2 mons? These are all DPP mods. You messing with me, Super Zerashiro? Bro. <laughs> that's a death. <laughs> no, that's too... <laughs> okay. That's cool. I'm a ZM. Uh, we go Stoic is great play. Though, I actually want more rock switchings on Togekiss. Oh, he goes Spirit Tomb. Sick. This is gonna blow- That thing is banded too. This is gonna blow you away. Nice. So, you get rid of Spirit Tomb. Awesome. Uh, I said that's sick because it's a check to Lottie with Pursuit. Which I do not like very much. Okay, so I wonder if we go Togekiss now. Nope, goes Hippo. Which is still smart. Got some damage on you. That did four. Woof, that did four. All right, I think burning this hippo is easily in my best interest. Uh, I cannot deal with it with my team very well. I will just start taunting. Um, he has du double deep, he has triple defoggers if he wants, honestly, but Got some nice little spiky spiky. And I disabled his earthquake too. Oh, that's fire. Oof, he's gonna go Napoleon. I am not gonna let you defog at all, bro. Toxic, protect, scald, defog. I'm still not gonna let you defog. Oh, Stealth Rock, what the hell? Okay, he goes Hippo, which is incredible again, because I think that's the setup shark. Uh, that's the opportunity I think I feel like Shark just wins, so this is an opportunity to ensure that. Also, just being able to taunt everything, and the fact that his Hippo is not running leftovers. I'm assuming it's Rocky Helmet. Okay, that's cool. Either way, we go uh, Bisharp here, and we click Knock. Like, this is the time where we get rid of an item on a <laughs> Pokemon. v burns me, it's annoying. I can afford to click knock again. So we get rid of Empoleon. Nice. No more Scalds there. He doesn't have Healing Wish support. He does have potentially Heal Bell on Togekiss though. Rotom can come out though and Defog if it wants to. I feel like... Okay, so the way I'm winning this game is... Actually, if Rotom's gone, that's that's a lot better. But Togekiss is still at full HP, which I don't like. Okay, you die. So he's going to give me this Mon, which is great. Uh, I'm gonna go. It's going to be a double down, but still fantastic for me. And I can safely bring out my Latias now. And just start T-bolting away. Is Latias better than me going out into... Actually, I think Sharpedo is better than me going Lottie. Because I feel like... If he goes Rotom... I'm just going to make it all my spam. If he goes for Z-Bloom Doom, I lose anyway. Or I die anyway. So yeah, this is better. This allows uh, Togekiss to obviously come in. But I can Thunderbolt that. And I keep... Sharpedo healthy. Or I keep Sharpedo at full HP. I have Earthquake for Lucario. Vacuum Wave would not Oko me. If he goes Toa, because I just Thunderbolt spam. Mm hmm. Bring out Lottie. Got the Rocks chip I needed too, and I could just spam Thunderbolt, I feel. Uh, and if he's Vacuum Wave on Lucario, uh, that does not matter because double. Because. Ooh. Okay. Better for me. Better for me in a sense that I bring out the Blade here. I'm just gonna go for Sacred Sword because I'm not I'm not gonna allow Lucario any opportunity to set up on me and sweep me. Especially because all I gotta do now is just spam Shadow Sneak multiple times versus Toekiss and I win the game. So Yep. Three hits. He can't flinch me to death. Flamethrower. 
which is the movie is locked into. Good game, dude. Ah, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's go ahead and look for another game. Uh, it's been, so far, really well. Uh, the team has been performing really well. So, Adam, thank you very much for the team. So, uh, I said so far. <laughs> oh, Envy saw the clip I had of Gator. <laughs> but, yeah, it's been going really well. Uh, Alright, so this dude's trying to do one of the challenges. Yeah, good luck, bro. I'm actually at 220 points. I need 250. Should I be a nice guy and I won't forfeit, that's that's for sure. I'm assuming it's uh So he's trying to win with PU in, in the higher tiers. What's his rank? Was it 1300 or 1400? 1400, okay, so he's trying to win with PU in uh, up here. Uh so the thing is the the Silvali Fairy, which I'm like a thousand percent sure it is, is actually pretty threatening. I'm gonna spike up because I know this is Scarf. A prime ape. No point in whispering because Lantern does have access to heal bell. I absolutely love uh, Bishop in this as well as the blade. Like the blade can win with or without hazards, uh, but obviously hazards are nice, and I'm very scared of the Rabidash too. Nice. I get my spike up. He should double right here, um, but Como will always be my best. He should double. But Como will for sure, for sure be my best play. Also, Primate needs very little damage on it for me to destroy it with, or absolutely destroy it with uh, Sucker Punch. I think it needs, I'm going to say plus two Sucker Punch is 82% to Primate. That's my head calc of the day. Yo, I was, I was being way too, 87, my gosh, it dies at rock. Hey, no defog for you. I actually should go Bisharp here. Because if he does defog, I get a hard hit off. Yo, I'm very weak to Sovali Fairy. <laughs> he might go for Flamethrower too if he has it. I, I really hope. John has to take a 6 0. -oh. Good lord. Am I giving it to him? Ooh, that is not good. That is not good. That is not good. I'm plus three attack. I kill everything. <laughs> Dude, I'm sorry, but Primate drops, bro. I'm plus three. No, man. No, that's a dead mon, bro. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is not going to be a 6 0 challenge here. He has to double again and again and go like Rapidash or something. Bro, that does like 120, 115 min. <laughs> yeah. Flame body? Nope. Oh my gosh. That's not Scarf. Bisharp just straight up coming through. That party shot was so big. Look at him. Look at him. Hold up, this might count for my challenge though. A 6-0 in uh in eight turns. Ooh. I gotta try a 6-0 him now. Is that possible? No, dude, I'm going for the 6-0. Sorry about that. Your scarf, right? Are you cold, bro? I gotta, I gotta try and six over. <sighs> GG. I'm trying to six over in 15 turns because I, I think I, I think I'm missing a challenge right here. Okay, we'll just sneak twice. Nice. Okay, so I think I might have just completed a challenge, which is winning uh, 15 turns, no port. Good luck. In the future, bro. This one is a hard one. <laughs> that, that's a really, really tough challenge. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Of course, if you did, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. Adam, this was a fantastic team. Thank you so much for passing it to me. 
I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll leave it in the description if he allows me to. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, my friends.